Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you for percentage of steel reinforcement in the construction of RCC slab, beam, column and footing. So this is a short video but very important. So if you have any question related to this short video, so you can comment, I will respond to you. As you can see guys, in this column we have bar bending members and bar bending members we have different RCC structures. At this side, guys, you can see we have percentage of steel reinforcement for different RCC structures. If you see, guys, in bar bending members, slab is RCC structure. So in a slab, you can use 1% of total volume of concrete. It means if the slab concrete volume is anything, so from that volume, we have 1% of steel in the construction of RCC slab. So these value we got from the thumb rule uh, and also you can use the uh, BN data uh, recommendation okay so you will find uh, also more accurate values from that so this is thumb rule okay so for slab construction we used one percent of the total volume of concrete what is the volume of concrete length of the slab width of the slab and thickness of the slab so you will get the total volume so from that total volume we used one percent of steel volume okay so this is percentage of steel now the next uh, structure is beam so for beam we are using two percent of steel okay so two percent of total volume of concrete so how you can get the volume of beam so length or length of the beam then depth of the beam and width of the beam you will find the total volume of the beam then you can find from their total volume of concrete you can find the total uh, steel reinforcement which is two percent of the total volume of concrete especially for beam for the column we required 2.5 percent so you can use up to 2.5 percent but not more than this because this is the high value for rcc column next for the footing so for the footing construction we used 0.8 percent of total volume of concrete what is the total volume of concrete for footing so from that volume we used one percent of a uh, 0.8 percent of steel reinforcement okay next guys the standard length of the steel bar is 12 meter okay which is 40 feet so this is the standard length of steel reinforcement next guys weight of steel bar for the length okay F weight of steel bar for length okay so you can use the formula d square divided by 162 where d is die of steel in millimeter for example if the length of the steel bar is 12 meter or 40 feet with 10 millimeter die of steel rod then the weight of the bar is d square divided by 162 and multiply 12 then you will get the value 7.4 kg steel is required uh, so weight is uh, for 10 millimeter of steel rod if the length is 12 meter or 40 feet so this is the formula by which you can find the total weight of steel rod suppose if you need the weight of steel for 1 meter and the diameter is 10 millimeter so therefore 1 meter is equal d square divided by 162 so as i discussed here the d square d should be in millimeter so therefore d square divided by 162 so 10 millimeter multiply 10 millimeter divided by 162 you will get the value 0 0.61 kg so this is the weight of steel for one meter as you can see here so therefore if you have 12 meter so 0 0.61 uh, kgs multiply 12 then you will get the value 7.4 kgs so one link which is 12 12 meter or 40 feet so if the dia is 12 uh, if the dia, uh, dia is 10 millimeter so uh, we have the weight 7.4 kg so if the dia is 12 millimeter okay so you can use the same formula d square divided by 162 so therefore 12 multiply 12 multiply 162 you will get the value 0 0.88 kgs so this is for per meter okay if you have 12 meters so 0 0.88 kgs multiply 12 then you will get the one length total length as you can see here okay so this is a short video to guide you for 
percentage of steel for slab, beam, column, and footing. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.